hello guys welcome to Jira administration tutorial in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how you can configure the new field config in Jira so let's get started I'm logged in as um, Jira administrator at the moment and let's select a project RCV Academy online portal and in this project if you go to the project admin settings and we go below um, to the field config in the field section to so system default field configuration and default field configuration is there so if you click on this default field config you can see that this default field config is used by eight projects right and it has some of the fields which are available for the different screens so if you see the field so like affected effects version how many screens are using this particular field now if you go to the um, field configurations here um, you will see only one default field configuration at the moment and you can configure and you can copy this field uh, field configuration but you cannot delete or do any other operation even though you are the administrator the reason for that is because this is the default field configuration and cannot be deleted you can just configure it or you can add a new field configuration by clicking on add field configuration so what I'll do is I'll try to add a new field configuration I'll say just RCV field config and Put the same in the description and click on add now you can see the new rcv field config got created and it is basically copying all the default configuration from the default field config right so if you create an add field configuration it will do nothing but it will copy all the default field configuration and make a copy of it and now the new default a uh, new field config that we have created rcv field config you can configure it you can copy it you can edit and you can also delete it because you have created this uh, field config now if we click on edit of this field config what it does is it uh, the edit option gives you the um, ability to change the name and description of this field configuration I'll just uh, cancel that and if you click on configure it gives you an option to configure this field configuration so for example you have certain fields here like effects version assignee attachment and then what all um, options are available whether you, you can edit this field you can hide it and you can select the screens on which this particular attachment uh, needs to be visible right so you can do that uh, selection from here um, if I go back and scroll down so what because this is the new scheme that I have created so I can do the changes in this particular uh, field config and then associate this field config with any of the project and see how it behaves or any of the issues and then see how um, it behaves accordingly so let's try to do some changes here so uh, we'll go to some of the um, some field which is uh, say for example labels okay we'll say labels as required so what that means is labels will be now required uh, or mandatory field for this particular um, this particular field configuration scheme so RCV field configuration that we have created if we apply this to any project um, then this uh, the, the project for which this field configuration will be applied then the field uh, which we have chosen as mandatory which is the labels field will be required always before a person creates an issue now the next step is to create a field configuration scheme 
So basically in the first step what we have done is we have created the field configuration from the default field config. So we have co basically copied the default field config and then updated the field configuration. So if we go to field config, we have created the RCV field config. And the next step is to create the field configuration scheme. And then this scheme can be associated with the issue type or with the projects, right? So you, you have, uh, once this scheme is created, only then you can associate it with particular project and the issue type with which you want to associate this field config. Now let's go ahead and create that field configuration scheme. So at the moment you would see that there are no field uh, configuration scheme. It only shows as blank because there is only system configuration scheme. So I'll click on add field configuration and I'll say RCV field config scheme and then click on add. Now once you click on add, it shows you issue type as default. What this means is that this scheme will be used for all un unmapped issue types. So if you do not map any specific issue type with this config field config scheme, it will be this scheme will be used with all the issue type in this scheme. Now, currently field configuration that is chosen for this one is the default field configuration. What we want is we want to associate our CV fields config scheme, field config scheme to this. Um, uh, sorry, we want to associate our CV field config to our CV field config scheme. So we'll edit it, and then from the drop down we'll select our CV field config in the field config and associate that with this RCV field config scheme. Now, in the field configuration, RCV field config, we have made um, the labels field as mandatory, which is in RCV field config, and then created a scheme and associated this field config with this scheme. Now, if I'll associate this scheme with any of the project, then any person or anyone who is creating issues in that particular project for those issues labels field will be mandatory okay so if you try to create the project uh, create an issue now say for example in rcv online portal i'll create an issue as bug so if you see the labels field it is not mandatory right so we'll just say test bug and create the issue without any labels it should be fine but once we apply the scheme the new scheme that we created you shouldn't be allowed to create an issue without putting some labels there all right so what we'll do is we'll go to the fields again in the project so let's see the project here yeah, rcv academy online portal is the current project then we have gone to the project settings and in project settings we'll go to the fields now you see at the moment it's the system default field config now what we'll do is we have created new field config um, scheme and then we'll say use a different scheme from the actions right so you'll see our cv field config scheme is available now in the drop down i'll click on that and associate this project with a new scheme right and you can see what all issue types are there all these seven issue types that are there in this project at the moment will be required to always populate the labels field when a user is creating any of the issue type right so now you can see the rcv field config has been associated so if you see the labels if we go um, to the labels below the required field for the labels is chosen as yes okay and all the 17 screens in this theme will be affected so now we'll go back and try to create an issue in this rcv academy online portal project let's create a bug and then test bug to and you can see a little dot here right which shows that this labels field is mandatory now we'll, we won't fill it and try to create it 
now you can see labels is required and the reason for that is we have made this labels field as required field so we'll say just put some new label there and then click on create so yep yeah, now your issue got created because we have provided the label so to summarize in this tutorial what we have learned is we have learned the field configuration so uh, the field configuration that are there how you can create a new field config and then how you can associate a new field config to the field config scheme after that how you can associate the field config scheme to any new project so it's pretty simple and straightforward process but to understand the difference is very very important when you are doing these configurations in Jira. Hope you liked the video. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.